In this example, we are given the following polar equation and we are asked to write it in a rectangular form and to also graph what's going on. So, in order to convert this back into a uh, rectangular form, meaning it involves x's and y's instead of r's and theta, what you need to remember is that, well, x is equal to r cosine theta, y is equal to r sine of theta, and r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. These are just your standard formulas that you need to keep in mind. And then for going in the other direction, there's ones as well, but since we're going from polar to uh, rectangular, these should suffice. So <clears throat> the one thing I'll keep in mind as well is that secant theta is really just one over cosine. So I can rewrite this as r is equal to 12 over cosine of theta. Now, in this form, I can multiply both sides by cosine theta, and if I do so, and then swap these guys around, I have that r cosine theta is equal to 12. Well, what's r cosine theta? It's x. So this is really just x equals 12. So if I were to graph this, this is just a vertical line at the point. I'm going to tick by uh, 3, so 3, 6, 9, 12. So this right here is just a vertical line at x equals 12. And there we go, which is interesting because when you look at this in polar form, it just, it doesn't, to me anyway, intuitively, it just doesn't look like a straight line. <laughs> but if you manipulate this, remember your identities, you can just get down to x equals 12 where it's very obvious that that's all it is. And that is this example.